What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 8.40 a.m. Eastern Time, March 5th, 2018. We got a trading video coming to you. Uh, this is going to be on Bitcoin, like many before it. But first, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, check us out on Steemit and DTube. Links are down below. And uh, also on our uh, Facebook trading team, link is down below there, too. At the end of this, we're going to have our giveaway. I know we weren't able to do it this weekend, kind of a crazy weekend to say the least, um, but we're going to do that today at the end of the video. So be sure to, uh, to watch it to the end there. So let's get right into it. Um, so we're looking at right now on a, on a one hour chart. And um, I think when we left off last, we were somewhere around here. And what we were looking for is a trade setup. And we were looking for a trade setup where the market were to breach below uh, below this line right here. This line is about 11,064. Uh, give you exact 11,064. Yep. Um, and what we, that's exactly what we were looking for. We were looking for the market to breach down here, and then we were then going to go ahead and have targets that were you know down here. So take a look at that video. You'll get an idea of kind of how we look at trade setups. Um, but you know we're going to actually in this video what we're going to do is put Elliott wave analysis aside for a second I just want to look at market action um, and I know sometimes people get very 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 uh, uh, caught up into you know what is a wave one what is wave two where's wave three you know is this an ABC is it a flat you know what is this ascending wedge wedge you know descending wedge you know etc etc cetera, etc cetera. let's just look at market action here uh, this one time and I just want to walk through kind of at least scratching the surface of a little bit of what of the way in which we're looking at things um, uh, to get do a full-blown video could be hours and hours long so I just want to at least show you guys kind of at the very least which gets you very far along on your way to be doing other to be doing other things as far as the way we look at things really quick as far as a snapshot is concerned and so one of the things I show was 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 happening and it's more evident on like a 30 minute and also a 15 minute um, is that you know there's a there's a wedge here right this 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 descending uh, this descending wedge right this wedge is here um, and it's in a few different places as well if you look back um, all over the place but especially here here and here um, it's 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 all over the place so uh, the market has 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 clearly you know broken through uh, uh, this this wedge you know to the upside and we can look at the volume right here you know there was some uh, you know some good volume especially in consideration of what we had uh here you know where the market where the volume was falling off to little dribs and drabs especially right here uh and then let's take a look on an hour basis let's see this is what it looks like here okay and then you know we continue to move up here so this this actually this actually this top right here this top at about 11,768 uh to be exact the top is 11,741 spot 35. And that's really where this market needs to get to. Now we haven't even gotten there yet. And what you could see is just, you know, if you look, kind of look through all this, you know, we had a very large run up, right? And then we had a correction. And then we had a, a little bit of a smaller one. Then we had a small correct, smaller correction. Then we had, you know, a little bit of a smaller run. We had a small correction. I mean, even a smaller one and 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 the way this works is is that eventually you don't have just you don't have such a small correction anymore it becomes a large correction and not saying that this could happen right here but as we have more and more of these the probability of it happening becomes higher and higher all right um, so let's take a look at some hidden hidden uh, uh, support zones uh, so hit some some hidden support zones on a daily basis would be like ten thousand one hundred um, and seventy five. Okay, so we're taking this daily number right here was nine thousand four hundred forty. Okay, and I, th I think we told you guys we were going to go ahead and and update this. We just needed the data, the day to cl to close. Okay, so ten thousand one hundred and seventy five is where we're at right now as far as a daily a daily uh, support zone 
next thing let's update the four hour basis on a four hour basis we're looking at it on a about eleven thousand two hundred and so this is actually coming down just a bit Sorry, this text is just not coming up. I'm sure you guys love to watch me struggle. <laughs> okay. Um, remember that? Yeah, okay. So, uh, the four-hour basis, 11,200. On a one-hour basis, we're going to go ahead and put a one-hour uh, horizontal ray here. On a one-hour basis, about 10,100. Uh, and, uh, sorry, no, on a one-hour basis, 11,413. Okay. So, that's what we're looking at for right now um and we're going to be watching these levels pretty damn closely because i do think eventually uh something's going to fall off here uh it just seems like it's going to happen if we look at the price action here we can see um you can see we've tried to make we tried to eclipse this uh, significantly and um, which we didn't really do it you know all too significantly there's the small bodies of the candles that, which have gotten above it um, but it's nothing more than that in just a few wicks okay that it's really that has eclipsed really this top right here and we're having a hard time we're having a, now we're basically going sideways and you can see this 11,413 level the market has touched it twice already okay um, and now let's see if it let's see if see if it pierces down below it I drew this kind of line right here possibly a smaller triangle that we may you know this is the top of it let's see where the bottom of it uh, ends up but um, this possibly could be the top of a triangle could be unlikely it just really depends what's going on so we have this volume here which we had this large candle right here right and then you know we had this candle right here where the market tried to sell off drastically, right? But then it ran back up again, right? So this is, I would look to be pretty bullish, believe it or not, okay? And then now we have, you know, here, right? This candle right here where, you know, inverted hammer candle where the market ran it up it, and it came back down, right? And then here we have an indecision candle, right? These, nothing much really to say about these, but especially these two, right? market capitulated right couldn't really get anywhere they had a doji here and then this you know basically did nothing and then this came down a bit you know you can almost look at that as like a very small like bearish engulfing of the previous one and then we have and then we have this candle that came down right here right then we have almost like a doji like candle right here market tried to run up again okay really not much to speak about here other than it's just you know you know, market just trying to figure out what's going on. It's rather indecisive, and then we have this huge volume. This is what I wanted to get to. We have this huge volume right here, and the market ran up and it got rejected. Ran up and got rejected. You can see that, right? You see the candle came all the way up, almost to the tops over here, and then it got rejected. And now we still have about seven minutes and thirty seconds until this candle finishes but it doesn't look like it's really doing very much so i could i could expect that we may come back down again maybe to this you know to this level right here sorry this is four hour this should not be four hour this is one hour <clears throat> so could be coming down back down to this level here of 11,413 all right so this is very telling right here this, this candle right here with huge volume, all right? Another thing I wanna bring up as well is that we have this line that we drew here on the RSI of a 59.7, right? You see the market was trying to get up, it's trying to get above it, oh, it broke down below, 
Oh, it pe pierced above, pierced above this, on this candle right, right here where it, where it had a ton of volume, right? It pierced above this, this RSI level right here, and then on this candle, the next candle, it's moved down. All right, so doesn't doesn't look really too bullish. Stretch this across. Not really much to say. Not really much to say uh, with the channel. Maybe the channel is is is, is losing its its life, <laughs> but we've got quite a quite a quite a lot of use ahead of it so far. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on on a one hour basis. So on a one hour basis, you know, we're kind of like neutral to, to, to bearish right now. Um, kind of neutral, neutral to bearish. Yes, I know 55 EMA is still down here, still down here. So maybe we have some sort of correction to this 55 EMA. All right, the only real out of the time where we've had, you know, a ton of super bullish, you know, I mean, you can look at what happened here, right? This is super, super bullish, um, you know, motive wave, huge, right? So, I mean, this is this is obviously smaller in scale. So, um, I'm sorry, this is the, man, I always do that. This is the 200 moving average. Even still, same thing going on here, right? On the, on the 55 EMA, right, which is the red line, which is the red line, uh, possibly we may have a reversion back down to the red line, okay? On a longer time scale, possibly to, a, to, to the 200 moving average. Um, next, 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 next. Let's look at things on a four hour basis. Four hour basis. Okay. So that huge candle that we saw, where was that huge candle again? Okay, second to last candle, um, which is probably this one right here, right? The volume is really not nothing great, right? So far on the four-hour basis, right? It's kind of low overall. On a one-hour basis, it was obviously significant, but even still on a four-hour basis, similar situation here, right? Everything's looking bearish. This is, this is looking bearish. EMA is, you know, uh, all the way down here, 55 EMA, and the, <clears throat> and the 200 moving average is all the way down here. So maybe we have a, you know, a reversion back down to the 11,200 level for a, on, on the four hour basis. Possibly could be even lower. All right. Let's take a look at things on a, oh, so on a four hour basis, we are kind of bearish, um, a bit more bearish than, than, a, than on a one hour basis. Um, we can see here, again, this line, this 50, 59.72 line on the, on the RSI seems to have, you know, market came below it, came back up above it. Um, seems to be respecting that line, at least on an RSI basis. Let's take a look at things on a daily basis. So on a daily basis, looks like a big jumble. <laughs> All right, on a daily basis, similar situation here. This is not, this does not scream bulls, bulls to me. Um, here, this candle right here. Okay, um, could possibly be. Uh, something that's just temporary and we're going to continue to run up but right now this candle I know we do have a lot of time left over but uh, this this candle right here is uh, looking quite indecisive looking very closely to a uh, to a doji candle so far the body's a little bit thicker than what I would like but um, it's, uh, it's 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 pretty close so you know obviously this is some this is obviously bullish you know it would be more bullish if this candle right here had a larger body to it Right, but but um, that's what the market's given us. Possibly we revert back down to the EMA. The EMA right now is uh, at ten thousand seven hundred forty four spot oh seven. So um, also on a daily basis, uh, we're actually believe it or not a little bullish on on a daily basis. So 
on a longer longer term basis so let's um let's take a look on the on the hour basis see see if we missed anything from just you know just a a like i said a a, a and at the, like I said in the beginning, like just like a, a market action overview. Oh, one other thing I, I do want to show, um, and I, I need to get back to him is I I don't I don't really show you guys charts on a log basis, on on the screen, right? I show things on a linear basis, right? But if you look at things at a logarithmic basis. Um, and I'll have to make a whole video on this because there's a lot to do with it. But if you look at things on a, on a, on a it's actually a semi-log ba basis because I think only the, um, is this semi-log? Yeah, I'd have to take a look. I believe it's a, I believe it's a semi-log basis. Um, the, uh, if you look at this, the green line no longer represents the top, right? You would have to, you'd have to draw a, a different trend line which would be something like this. Okay, so we we look at things on a on a log basis. Actually, probably more times than not, um, we look at things on a log basis, especially on a long term. When you're looking at a lot of data, okay, and on a, on, a, on a semi log basis, you know the market hasn't even reached this top of the trend line. Okay, some, something to think about. Um, I, I don't want to overcomplicate things. I don't want to overcomplicate things for you guys, um, so don't you know think you need to you need to chart things on on both bases um, uh, just yet. But uh, you know, just wanted to just wanted to put that put that out there. So uh, the gentleman who who reached out to me on email uh, with that question, you know, I, I need to get back to you obviously with, um, uh, with 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 some more information. But yes, we definitely noticed that. No no question at all. And there's actually a, a whole bunch of other stuff on a on a log or a semi-log basis that um, does not match up with with a linear basis. One thing you do need to remember though is that when you draw things, when you draw a, uh, a, a trend line which is not horizontal, draw a trend line, any angled trend line, you do that on a, on a log or semi-log basis. Uh, in reality if you were to plot that on just a regular linear basis that is no, it's no longer a line it's a curve okay it's something you need to something it's something that needs to understand i know you may need to wrap your mind around it but yes you draw a line as long as it's not a horizontal line on a log chart if you were to convert that directly to a linear chart um, which i don't think trading view has that ability you would it would show up as a curve so some people are happy with that. Some people are not happy with it. There's a lot of other things that people are not happy with, uh, and, and some are others happy with when it comes down to log log charts versus, uh, you know, uh, linear charts. So with that said, let's get into the giveaway. Let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the last video, and we are going to go ahead and pick a winner from there. So let's do that. Let's click start. Boom, boom, boom. Randomize it. <laughs> Logan King, all right, buddy. Uh, we'll be reaching out to you, Logan King. Welcome back. I I'll check you out on Steemit. Yeah, thank you so much. We've got a few more subscribers there on Steemit. You guys gotta head on over there. Uh, really, it's really cool. Steemit and DTube. Um, we're pushing hard to to build out our channel there um, because we love it. We love it so much. So definitely. Uh, check us out there. Uh, like I said before, on Steemit, we um, we upload simultaneously to YouTube and Steemit and DTube. Okay, but whichever one appears first, whichever one completes first, we submit first. And sometimes there's a big difference. Sometimes it could be 10, 15, 20 minutes um, between one between one platform and the other. So, Logan King, thank you very much for checking us out on Steemit, and you are going to be uh obviously contacted and we'll figure out how to how to get you over the prize <laughs> so with that mm -hmm. said guys have a great day and happy trading